Yo guys, what's going on? My name's Grand Theft Logan, and welcome back to another 7 Days to Die tutorial video here on my channel. Now, as you can tell by the title and possibly the thumbnail, this episode we are going to be figuring out how to effectively fortify our small base. Now, this can be used on a base like this. If you watched my last tutorial video, I taught you how to build your first sort of hut or house and how to survive your first night in 7 Days to Die, but... There's a little bit more that we have to do. We have to fortify this place in terms of traps and spikes and so forth because we do not want any zombies to just come up on us at any time uh, and just break right in or start attacking our walls. We need a way to keep ourselves safe. So what do you think that we're going to do for that? Well, it's pretty simple. First thing we're going to do is actually build a ditch around the property. And the reason for that is because we're going to put spikes in them. And when you put spikes, uh, wood log spikes or the other wood spikes, although we are going to be using wood log spikes for the ditch part, um, if, you ha if you don't have a ditch, they can just walk on top of them and still attack you and get to you and everything like that. But if you do have a ditch, they fall inside. They take more damage and they can't get out or they have a much a uh, harder time getting out of the ditch and it just increases the pain and the damage to them and that is going to make your uh, your entire trap situation your base defense much more effective so I'm going to go ahead and build that ditch and we'll be right back okay now as you can see we have a small trench or ditch made now I'm only making this in the front for now because this is something that you can just replicate all the way around it does not have to for this tutorial video I do not have to do all the way around you would just replicate this all around but so what you want to do is take a shovel or whatever you have in my case it was an auger and you want to just make a ditch a few down uh, obviously it's not perfect because we you know a lot of stuff isn't going to be perfect in this game it's more of a utilitarian approach and not so much for aesthetics uh, so you're gonna have a couple spots most likely that are gonna be a little bit more screwed up than others but it all works just the same so now what you want to craft are these these are wood log spikes if we go in there you can see wood log spikes are pretty pretty simple to craft they can just be craft uh, from your crafting menu when you hit tab and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down the line and just start placing them down now, obviously I am uh, floating or flying but you know you just would walk down the line backwards and place them inside so once you place them inside they're not actually all that strong currently and that is because they are just basic. They're kind of like this. Uh, this is just the first level of upgrade. This isn't going to do that much to stop zombies, but it is a good uh, base material. So what you're going to want to do is you are going to take, if you're just starting out, and this is your first kind of action towards securing your base, you're going to use a stone axe, most likely. Although if you have found a wrench or a claw hammer, or if there's probably no way you're going to have a nail gun at this point, especially since you have to craft them now from schema schematics. But you're going to want to go down and you're going to want to upgrade them. One, uh, one level will take it to the next wood. So you can go ahead and just do that. That'll provide some good basic uh, damage and defense. But if you have some scrap iron, what you can do is then upgrade them one step further, as you can tell. They get metal tips and they get, uh, as you'll see here in a second, they get like rivets around the bottom here. Uh, so that's the first level of iron and that is, in terms of a horde knight, I would say that that is very much the basic amount of upgrades that you would have to do to these. Although if we go one higher, you can tell they get even stronger. And that is more higher game, uh, as you can tell. Uh, we are using the bottom right hand corner a lot of scrap iron and upgrading one of these to that is 40 scrap iron So that's quite a lot, but that is something maybe by the day 14 horde you might want to start thinking about uh, Obviously it does go up even further too. We're using another 40 and we're actually out of scrap iron right now But these things pretty much go to this level and then they kind of fall off and they don't go any higher uh, but it is still a pretty solid defense uh so that's not actually all that we are going to be doing here now as you can see i'm in creative mode so i have uh, a complete inventory of whatever i want whenever i want one thing that you might want to make is barbed wire and the reason for that is barbed wire is pretty good at slowing 
zombies down. It's also good at tearing apart limbs. So you're getting kind of a twofer there. So what you can actually do is go down and start placing this. Now you can rotate this as well. Um, I, as you can see, uh, the orientation ours is going in. Like I said, you could very easily uh, fix that up and switch that into another orientation if you want. And as you can tell, it is in there. This one got a little messed up because um, of our orientation there. But as you can tell down the line, this is like this. And what will happen is a zombie will walk in to here. They will get caught on the barbed wire, which will slow them down and start tearing apart uh, limbs, which is very helpful if you get their feet or legs ripped off and then they're going to go and flail on top of your spikes there which is really what we want um now it is a good idea in any situation to sort of back up the behind of your wall here so as you can see i left a little gap here and you might be wondering well why did i do that and the reasoning is because you kind of want to think about at some point getting rid of the dirt here and replacing it with blocks of some kind that could be concrete blocks which should be very effective uh, reinforced concrete steel wall or you could just do upgraded iron wood um, that would also very much help because the zombies can still kind of attack and dig and what you don't want them to do is start digging through the dirt here and getting under or inside of your base whatever it is whether you have a house that you found that has a basement especially or if you have just a freestanding structure like this that you built or that you found that does not have a basement of any kind, you really don't want them to get under there. But for the first, you know, for the first horde especially, uh, possibly even the second horde, you really don't have to worry too much about that. You might find that some of them will start breaking down that dirt, but you can replace it. You can just dig up dirt um, from around here and make uh, some like grassy dirt or grassy land in your crafting inventory place it in there it replaces it. it's all the same doesn't really matter so that is our basic uh defense system within seven days to die uh tutorial video i hope that you guys like this video i hope that it was helpful it is a very basic defense system but it's a very effective defense system and something that i even use in my season two playlist which you can find down below in my massive um prison like base it is a very, very, very effective tool, and I hope that you will consider using it because I think that it could make the difference in your game. So with that being said, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I post daily video gaming content, including a lot of 7 Days to Die, of which, like I said, you can find Season 2 uh, down in the description box below. I'd greatly appreciate you checking that out. Smash that like button if this video helped you. It really means a lot to me, and it really helps out, and I'd really like it. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.